Jukes Reviews and another whiskey review. Ain't in a pretty bottle. Um, I've had this bottle a little while. Actually, I've tried some of this before. I've had this bottle for a little while, but um, just forgot to review it, basically. So today is that day. Um, but yeah, no, that is, this is a very pretty bottle. Um, quite like the actual bottle itself as well, but this is what sort of pulled me in from the shelf when I saw it. It's... Um, it says Cotswold Single Malt. This is actually a small batch release. I think it's a limited one. Not massively limited, was it? So, bottles in batches. 6,200 bottles this done. So, not a massive amount of bottles, but a fair few. I'm sure there's quite a few people that got their hands on this. I reckon probably about 600,000, to be precise. Maths, mate, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So, yeah, um, it's probably, I'm not sure if there's anything you'll probably ever. You'll be able to get in America. I want to fall as you order it. But again, you can't order things online to be delivered at home in America. So unless someone's giving it to you as a gift, or they had some in the shops, but I very much doubt it. Either way. So yes, this new, the critically acclaimed English whiskey. So Cotswolds, um, lovely place in the UK. It's actually where my uh, Mrs. Jiggs um, was living before we got together. Um, so yeah, is there anything, is there anything information wise that I could um so yeah natural color non-chill filtered what's the uh, percentage on this as well while we're at it um well we got i think it's mid four mid to high yes it's 46 percent so that's okay like it but as long as it's higher than 40 we're normally in for a better ride aren't we um we source the finest casts from around the world for our whiskey including first fill bourbon barrels from kentucky wine barracks from france and portugal and sherry cask from Spain. All barrels are used for full term maturation, not cask finishing. We use barrels only once. Fair enough. What can you say? Literally what I just said. That's your it says this is made from 2015 Odyssey Barley, which for those who know me, I am also seed bay. And I, many times while working in Norfolk, have cleaned, which is no, not near the Cotswolds, by the way, but um, I have cleaned Odyssey barley many a time. So, you know, I might have cleaned some barley, or been in some involvement. I might have had some involvement in this. Probably not, but you never know, eh? You never know. We'll just, we'll just hold on to that, shall we? Anyway. Oh, it was a tiny little pop. It's a very small cork. And again, it's a very small opening. Giggity, giggity. Giggity, goo. Anyway, let's get to it. So I haven't actually drank any whiskey, um, like on its own since that last video I did. I did that yeah, American Eagle, which was just something, this wasn't very good. So that has been, unfortunately, watered down with uh, Pepsi um, in the evenings to drink. I, I just couldn't drink it. It, it, was, it was, just wasn't one to be drinking on its own. It was, I wasn't getting the enjoyment out of it I like, so I did actually, unfortunately, have to uh, walk that down with Coke, I'm afraid. Pepsi, should I say. Anyway, so this is a lovely, lovely golden colour. Um, yeah, medium sort. There's not much, much oh, there legs coming down the other side now. Yeah, quite a slow medium. It's not got, it's holding to the glass a little bit. Get into it, and obviously it's getting colder now. You know we're in autumn, so the baseball cap's gone and the, the woolly hats are on, just in case you were wondering why you're wearing a hat that thick indoors. And we put the heating on for the first time today as well, which I'm sure we'll regret when the bill comes. Welcome to England. Anyway, mm, it's quite fresh and zesty. That is getting like a fresh. Um, well, it's very fr it's very lemon zest, getting a real zesty lemon smell in there. I'm also getting like a, um, you know, a, I'd say ginger, like a fresh ginger, when you've just got the knobbly, ugly looking thing that a piece of ginger is, and you just you just start stripping the outer skin off it. It just starts hitting you. It's got a lot of that. 
I'm getting a slight, it's not that malty smell. It's very fresh though. It's got a lovely nose. Things I've, I've, I've had my first drink of this probably when I got the bottle, so that was probably well over a year ago. So this is me going into it for the second time. So I definitely can't remember it at all. But yeah. I'm getting lovely, fresh, zingy. Zingy nose. Very nice. There's a slight, the slight aniseedy note at the end. But yeah, very nice on the nose, right? Equally as, mm. so it's all that all that on the nose is definitely in the palate as well. It's very fresh. I'm getting a bit of an apple in there as well. A bit similar to the um, Glenfiddich. Glenfiddich. How you want to pronounce it? Someone 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 complained about the way I uh, pronounced the word uh, on my last Glenfiddich Glenfiddich video. Um, in a comical way, obviously, but yeah. Um, Said they were felt slightly offended by the way I was pronouncing it. Words, man, words are hard. But yeah, the um, there was an the experiment number five or six, the orchard experiment one. I'm getting the same sort of appley note that I got from that. It's more like a apple covered in like a buttery scotch. Yeah, it's like an apple and butter scotch. Mm. Very real orchardy, and obviously with the freshness of the lemon, ginger. It's very fresh. It's bloody nice. Really nice, in fact. I say forty six percent as well. Mm. It is. Uh, I can see why it's critically acclaimed. It's, it's really nice. Let's see if I can pick everything else out from it. Mm. It does get sweeter on the finish. Hardly any burn at all. Mm. A lot of mm noises. I think after the last whiskey I did a video on was so meh. I think having something that's got a little bit about it is just mm. This is really nice. They have more information I'll give you. So, um, the first ever Cotswold single malt whiskey from specially selected first fill barrels. Um, there anything else I can fill you in? Oh, a little tag, I didn't even notice that. A little tag. Well, this is what's got going on on here. Uh, da, 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 more writing. Fair enough. Mm. That is really orchardy fruit, delicious, lovely dram. It is very fruity. There's, there's definitely something else there as well. It's not just the apple that I got on like the, the butterscotch apple. There's um, I just said lemon as well. I'm sure it was peach or something like that. It's got like a peachy nectarine. I don't know the difference between a peach and nectarine half time, to be honest with you. It's a bit like blooming satsumas and clementines and all that sort of thing. They've all got like, what's actually is the difference? Um, I know there obviously is a difference, so I thought one of different names, but my simple brain is not the one to answer that question for you. That's what Google's for. Oh, I've got a she knows. Um, yeah. It 
So I've mentioned it now, and I think the reason even there's even like oranginess coming through in there now. It's just <laughs> lovely. It's a really, really nice whiskey. I um had it sitting there this whole time and totally forgot. Anyway. It's just it's what I do in it. Anyway, I'll leave that there. That is delicious. If there's any of this about still, and you find, I mean, of course, we'll do other whiskies as well, um, other bottlings, but um, if you see this one about, I'm glad I picked that one I did. Um, I think it was in Sainsbury's, I think, or something like that. I saw on the shelf, I thought, oh, that looks nice. And thank God it tastes nice as well. I think it's around the £46 mark, I reckon, it's around that price, I think. But yeah, that is definitely a whiskey I'm happy to have in my collection. Mmm. Absolutely wonderful. Right, I shall leave it there. If you watched this whole video, thank you for joining me on this delicious expedition. And I will hopefully see you very soon. There has been a new um, AU vodka drop. They've got a new bubble gum flavour one that's come out. Um, I'm not sure if it's on the shelf just yet, but as soon as it is, I will be picking up and I'll be doing a video on that. And it has a little gimmick with it as well. If you haven't known, then tune in. You can see what that gimmick is when I do the video. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all the things. Website, everything's down below in the description. And um, hopefully see you next time. Once again, thank you. And cheers. Mm. Mate, that is so good. So good. Lovely love.